good morning. It looks like you're into some fall chores. Yeah, just a few. So what, what's about blowing? What are you going to be doing with all these leaves? Just putting them in the compost? Well, this year, well, we usually rake them on or blow them onto the gardens and leave them. And then we rake them off in the spring, what doesn't sort of settle down. So what is the purpose of that? Why would you put them in your flower beds or veggie beds? Well, just for adding more organic matter, and that's the best thing you can do. Also, why I never have understood why you rake them all up and put them in a compost <laughs> bin and let it all break down and then put it back on your bed. So I figured <laughs> leave, them <there. laughs> leave them there for a while and then we'll, we'll see. And this year I thought, well, we usually we rake it towards the street or blow it towards the street and then pick it up there. And I thought, but I need it back here. <laughs> Save some trouble. <laughs> so there. today I'm just going to blow as much as I can and then we'll pick it up from here and then take it out to the vegetable garden and use it um, between the paths of the raised beds. Ah, excellent. And in the raised beds. Ah, and you know, there's a lot of things that you can do in your garden this time of year, and also harvesting some late kale is one of them. Yeah. So why don't we go and see how about that's going Yeah, on. I'm going to harvest some kale and make some kale chips and uh, see what else we need to do. All right. So Jan, you had some beautiful kale still out in the garden, but you brought it in to do a great recipe. Well, I haven't tried this before, <laughs> often anyway, and I'm going to make some kale chips. They're, they're all over now and popular. This is a bag of kale chips that are made with uh, organic hazelnuts and mm -hmm. some a little bit of cayenne. You could do anything you want. There's lots of recipes on how to do it. Use a food dehydrator, the oven, um, any way you want. So just look up recipes online, find something that you might like. Okay. But all you do is just strip the ribs out of the middle. All right. And it says you can use a salad spinner, but I don't have nor want a salad spinner. <laughs> so in my whole life I've just <laughs> taken a towel and swung it around it's my head a bunch of sure. times in the kitchen and, and it's done just fine. So just get that water off. So all you do is just get this as dry as you can and then put uh, put it on a tray mm -hmm. and there's nutrition that I'm what I'm going to try is nutritional yeast. I've got more kale to make here because this right. will dry and get tiny. Right. You want to do a good batch. Yeah, good batch. But so we've got that, and all we'll do is spread it out, mm -hmm. try to get the fur needles out of it. All right, some oil, and, olive oil. And just do a little olive oil. Okay. You could toss it while you're cooking it too. Okay. Little olive oil. And then you have kosher salt. Little kosher salt or whatever kind of sea salt or whatever you want. And you're just going to put this in, a, in the oven. And yeah, and this is just nutritional yeast to give that flavor, that chip flavor. Okay. And add a little more nutrition. Tons of nutrition in this whole All right. thing. And then, then now I'm going to put it in the oven. And it's some recipes say 350, some say 275 and slow, and I'll find out. Right, right. And you can use a dehydrator if you have one of those. Sure, too. sure. So we're going to try that. All right. And you know, also I see some of your house plants from the greenhouse are in for the winter. They are. Uh, we have wonderful skylights here in the kitchen, and so a lot of things will make it through here. But I also have a grow light in the basement with the streptocarpus. They're a, a relative of the African violet, right, some other beautiful. things that I have. And so I have a lot of space here and down there, mm -hmm. but if I want to bring more in, uh, number one, you got to check for insects before they bring things sure, in, right, right. and and bring them in. And now these Christmas cactus, Thanksgiving cactus, will bloom as soon as they get warm. Right, it'll just push. And then here is for thirty dollars. These are two sunshine light mm -hmm. bulbs and a forty-eight inch light? long shop, shop light. You hang it up and put a timer on it, and hang it over a bench or something that you can in an area that's fairly warm, and you got another setup. Yeah, and you get to use, um, enjoy your house plants in your yep. house. Yep. Well, you know, all year we have a great time coming every month. It's the end of the season, so thank you so much for everything, and we'll see you next year. Okay. Well, have a great winter. Thanks.